Hiya guys, today I've got another bonus video for you. I've received some goodies from Dimension Nails. I think I've mentioned them before on here. Um, if not, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen some work I've done with their products before. So here are the looks I created with Dimension Nails in case you haven't got Instagram or you don't follow me there. They make 3D nail art, nail charms, stamping plates, nail polishes, the lot, and it's all certified vegan. I will leave the links down below in the description box for you, so you can go and check them out. I think they've got a bit of a sale on at the moment as well, um, with their Halloween stock. Unfortunately, nail polishes can't be shipped to the UK, so I can't try their nail polishes. But you guys, um, USA girlies and guys, if you like nail polish, you can definitely try them out. So I've already opened my package because I've had it here for about a week. But um, it came wrapped in this lovely paper and I will show you the goodies I received. So first of all, I received a stamping plate, which is the Wonderland stamping plate. I haven't used it yet. As you can see, I wanted to make a little unboxing video. But you've got all these designs on here, which are really, really cool. And I am absolutely awful at stamping, so I am determined to try and learn. I won't bother taking it out of the bag because it's a stamping plate. I'm sure everybody's seen a stamping plate before. So um, you may get to see some sort of stamping fails on my YouTube in the future. But this is absolutely amazing. I love it. Next, she sent me... The Dimension Nail Stamper and Scraper. Um, the this, this scraper is like a frosted sort of credit card sized. I can't get my words out today. I don't know what's wrong with me. But it's really thick. So it's not as flexible as the ones you usually see, which I think is a good thing. So I have the scraper and this absolutely massive clear stamper and oh, it's proper squishy as well I don't know if you can see but that will be good because you can see like what's going on through the camera as well awesome so I will have fun learning how to stamp with these I've tried in the past and failed but I'm gonna try again and lastly, but not least, she sent me some Halloween charms, which I'm going to try and use before Halloween. It's kind of the middle of October at the moment. It's the 15th today, as I'm filming. But let's have a little look at these charms. I've already seen them, but for your benefit, guys. You get five in a pot. And first of all, I've got the silver skulls. And they are so pretty. They're really heavy as well and like better quality than the kind of stuff you would pick up on eBay or wherever you usually get your charms. So I'll just show you the size on a nail. My nails are really, really thin, like skinny, if that makes any sense. So a normal person's nails would be a little bit bigger than mine. Here it is on my thumb. This is my broken thumbnail. Here it is on my awesome thumbnail, which is really long. I can't balance it on my nail but there we go they're really really nice so as I said you get five in a pot next she sent me the skeleton hands and these are really cute they've got little diamantes on them as well there's those and I shall give you an idea of size again These ones should be easier to balance. Oh, maybe not. But obviously when you use them on your nail, you glue them down anyway, so it's not really a problem. <laughs> as long as you don't have to go around balancing them. Okay, that's on my little nail, and my little nail is quite little, so that's good. It will probably fit anybody. Whoops. That's it on one of my other nails. Oops, sticking my finger up. Sorry, guys. 
oopsie, there we go, and on my big nail. See the little diamantes on the bottom? And finally, she sent me some pumpkins. Now these ones are gold, whereas all the other ones were silver. So here they are. Oops. And again, like the other two, they're really, really nice, heavy and thick and really nice quality. So how nice are they? And to give you an idea again of size. That's my little stumpy nail. And you may not think this is stumpy because I've got quite a lot of free edge, but my nail is actually like the, the the nail plate I think it's called is really really short. I think it's because I'm short. I, I have no idea. Comment in the comments if you were short and have short nail beds so I can try and figure out if that is a thing. Or if you're really I'm sticking my finger up again. Oopsie. Or if you're really tall and you have long nail beds. Be interesting to find out. Okay, so let's pop that on my whoops. <laughs> on my big nail. They're really nice though. They're they're big, but they're not too big. I think they're a really nice size. The only problem I have with charms is that I have curly nails, so nothing ever sits like brilliant on them. But that's nothing a bare nail glue doesn't sort out, to be honest, so that's fine. So there's the last ones. So yes, I would like to thank Dimension Nails for sending me these because she did send them to me for free. But she's a really, really nice lady and I've been like friends with her for a while, so she's a babe an absolute babe so here are the goodies all together so like i said earlier all of dimension nails information will be in the description box below and you should be seeing these coming up in a future tutorial probably these first because it's currently like halloween season and then i will try and get to grips with stamping i have some normal like standard polishes that apparently stamp so I'll try those, but I will order some actual stamping polishes in the meantime, because I know you get like a better finish with them. I had some before, but I threw them out in a little um, childish tantrum rage when I couldn't um, stamp. And I also sold all my stamping plates. <laughs> but um, that's okay. I'm going to try again. So yes, enough rambling because that's all I seem to do so thank you all so much for watching guys take care and I should probably see you in a few days okay guys I started off with this gorgeous sparkly base I applied base coat then two coats of a black polish Once that was dry, I applied this gorgeous glitter polish by Prism Polish. Next, I applied a top coat. How pretty are these? So next, we will need nail glue, tweezers and a Dimension Nails charm. Apply glue where it's needed and simply apply the charm. Press it down and allow it to dry for at least 10 minutes. How gorgeous are these charms guys, I highly recommend them. I've had so many compliments on them too. Don't forget to check out the description box for all of Dimension Nails information. Thank you all so much for watching guys, take care and I will see you on Thursday for some simple Halloween nails. <laughs>